All right, campfire chili time. I'm gonna explain how to make this just as fast as I can talk. All right, to make this thing, we need a cutting board, a knife, some measuring spoons and cups, a can opener, a couple of big spoons, and of course, our cast iron Dutch oven. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can also use a stainless steel pot and make this in your kitchen. For ingredients, we need a pound of ground beef or venison, half a pound of spicy sausage, and a number of fresh vegetables. First of all, we're gonna need a bell pepper. I like to use yellow, add some nice color. We're also going to need one large white onion and and two large carrots. The carrots I have here are more of a medium size, so I'm gonna go ahead and use three. And finally, for the fresh stuff, we also need one head of garlic. All right, next up, we need some stuff in cans. We need one large can of tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, black beans, red beans, and yellow corn. For seasoning, I'm using yellow curry, crushed red pepper flakes, and cumin. And finally, for the ingredients, we need a bottle of olive, a bottle of, a bottle of, a bottle of olive oil. So for your fire, what you're looking for is a hot bed of coals rather than open flame. So at this point, your fire should be all the way burned down. So take a shovel, smooth out the coals, and bust apart any large bits that remain and just get a nice, smooth, even surface. Go ahead and lay the Dutch oven down. Make sure it's nice and even because this thing is about to be full of liquid. Go ahead and remove the lid and let this thing start heating up. All right, so while that's getting hot, let's start prepping our ingredients. So grab your cutting board. We're gonna start with our onion because those and the carrots need the most amount of time to soften up. So grab your knife. Nope, not that one. That's disgusting. Use a kitchen knife. All right, so grab your kitchen knife and let's start chopping up this onion. But a good trick when dicing onions is to chop off the top and bottom first. What's not a good trick is forgetting to peel the onion and leaving this papery skin on it. So remove that first and then chop off the stem. And then from there, cut the onion in half, start cutting it just down. And then from there, you can start dicing up the onion and get nice fine bits. Once you're done chopping, get it into one of your measuring cups and we'll just set it to the side for later. Next up is the garlic. This is a preference thing. I like to add somewhere between five and six cloves. A good tip is to take the side of the knife like this and kind of pop the clove. And then you can just pull the skin right off and you're left with just the uh, soft fleshy part. And then we're just gonna start mincing this thing up as fine as we can get it. Once you're done mincing, go ahead and scoop this into a smaller measuring cup and set it aside. All right, next up is the carrots. All right, so I like chopping off the ends of the carrots uh, along the back end. I definitely did way too much here, but that's all right. You can use the edge of the knife like this to give it a rough peeling if you so desire. From there, chop them in half lengthways and then just line them up and start chopping them down the ends and uh, you'll end up with kind of nice carrot hat. Okay. All right, with that, our first set of ingredients is ready. So go ahead and pour in your olive oil and then take one of your big spoons and make sure it is coating the bottom of the pot nice and evenly. From here, we can add in our beef or venison. All right, I had my pot a little bit too hot, so I had to scoot it off the coals. But what I'm doing here is just making sure it's not clumping together too much. I'm just breaking it up into smaller chunks. After that, we're ready to add in our spicy sausage. Now remember, we're only doing half a pound here, so I just used half of the package. And then same thing as the beef, I'm just gonna take the spoon and break it up into smaller chunks so it cooks nice and evenly. Next, go in the onions. Right behind the onions is the minced garlic, and then we are ready for the carrots. Now these take a good long while to soften up, so you want these to go in with the first batch. Give everything a good stir. We wanna make sure we're seeing very little pink at this point. Everything's gonna still have an opportunity to cook once we get in all of our liquids and everything comes to a simmer but this is a good opportunity while you can still see the meat to make sure there is as little pink in there as possible. You'll probably want to come back and periodically check on it, make sure it's not burning, but for now we can put the lid back on and just let this sit. All right, next up is our bell pepper. So we're gonna take our knife and what I like to do is I kind of just cut it off at the top, kind of like a little lid and then the whole seed pod can just kind of pop out the top. Chop off the little bit at the bottom and then from there we're gonna cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then we're gonna start slicing it into spears. Once they're all cut up into slices, I'm just gonna line them all up. And just like the carrots, I'm just gonna start chopping down the row and dicing them into nice little bits. Off comes the lid. Be careful, at this point, it might be pretty hot. Go ahead and slide these peppers on in there. Once they're in, give it a little stir so these can start softening up as well. And now we are ready for our spices. Add a tablespoon of the cumin, a tablespoon of the yellow curry, and then a teaspoon teaspoon of the, the red chili flakes. Once all the seasoning is in, go ahead and give it another little stir. And now we're ready to add our large can of tomato sauce then our diced tomatoes, followed by our black beans and our red beans. Now, it's a good idea to rinse your beans before putting them in. A good way to do that is don't take the lid completely off and then fill the can up with water. 
dump it out and just keep repeating that until the water is coming out somewhat clear. Right after the beans, go ahead and add in your yellow corn. All right, with that, that is the last of our ingredients. So give it another stir, get everything all mixed together. All right, so what we're going for is a nice gentle simmer. So put the lid back on, leave a little bit of a gap so some steam can escape. And we're gonna let this sit for at least 30 minutes and return periodically to stir it. Now, in my opinion, in my experience, the longer you let this sit, the better. It just soaks up more of that smoky flavor from the fire. I've let this sit for up to three hours before and it's just amazing. Look at that. This chili just comes out incredible every single time. It has amazing color from the peppers and the corn. Now, like I said earlier in the video, you can cook this in your kitchen. I have done it before, but nothing can quite replace uh, cooking it over top of an open fire. It just gets all these smoky flavors. It works really well with the spiciness from the chili flakes and the hot sausage. If you wanna give this a shot yourself, I have included a written version of the recipe on our website, link below, of course.